What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're doing an in-depth review video of the 2024 BMW X5 in the X-Drive 50e plug-in hybrid and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and specs about this car but before we do because it is not a sponsored video and we truly desire you guys' support and appreciate your guys' support so tap that like button and subscribe to our channel if you got some for us to film. Here's our email below. Email us and we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to BMW here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful X5 for this review. Now remember here at BMW in the Roseville Auto Mall, no markups. Keep that in mind. Also keep watching, stay tuned because we're dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea on this X5, what comes with it and that MSRP price on top. Now let's go ahead and talk 2024 BMW X5. So let's kick this review video off with talking some specs on the 2024 X5 X-Drive 50e. And what do we get under this hood is a 3.0 liter six cylinder inline engine, twin turbo powered with 24 valve dual Vano system and paired together with the eight speed automatic transmission, Plug-in hybrid, 29.5 kilowatt battery, everybody, giving you 483 horsepower with 516 pounds feet of torque. Whoa, is that a lot for a plug-in hybrid. Zero to 60 and 4.6 seconds. Now a little bit about the MPG, if anybody who'd like to know. 58 MPG E when it is gas and electricity combined. If it is just gas only, it's about 22 miles per gallon combined. 40 miles to an electric range charge, okay? 18.2 gallon gas tank size. And if we come over to the side of the car, kind of get a side view of it, let's talk some length, width, and height in inches. Starting with the length, 194 inches, width 79 inches, and in height 69 inches, everybody. Now, what do you think about the beast of the motor with the plug-in hybrid? You're being eco-friendly, but you got a lot of power under this hood. Now, guys, BMW, for many years, you know, pull that lever twice when you want to pop this hood because we're pretty dumb when we're trying to pop this hood. Let's go ahead and shut this hood and talk front end of this X550E trim in the X drive. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea of what it looks like. Literally, the front end of this car looks like a transformer. Aggressive, classy, luxury, sport, whatever you wanna say, this is the front end of this car. In that kind of aluminum brushed look, beautiful trim on the aluminum. Now, it is called a satin aluminum trim finish, but again, it looks kind of like a metallic silver or a hyper silver look. Piano black gloss on the Kidney Grills interior side with your 360 camera here in the front. The emblem itself comes with a blue line letting you know that is, it is part electric or a hybrid, so it is powered by the eye. Bumper sensors integrated in the lower side of the bumper cover. Again, that's set in aluminum with sensors and the cut here on the right and left of that bumper for that airflow to head over to that wheel area, okay? Now, let's go ahead and head over to the side. The headlight, though, I wanted you guys to know it is a LED premium headlight, so you're getting premium lighting on this car itself. Matte black plastic trim around the wheel well, okay? This does take a beating, but remember, this kind of fades out over time. Parking marker integrated into that bumper cover. The wheels themselves, okay, they are going to change between trims, so you will see different rims, all right, or different tires. They're running the Pirelli's Scorpion Zeros, a very good tire, 275, 45, 20. You get the air-cooled brake rotor, also those huge brake calibers, so you're getting that full brake cornering on this car itself, so literally this brake uh, system is going to be very uh, premium or top-grade braking. On the Suspension itself, you have the self-leving adaptive air ride suspension. Moving forward, this is where your plug-in cap is for that hybrid, 40 miles to a full charge. Coming down, you get electrified by eye trim work with the kind of aggressive character add into that backside of that fender. Side mirror, blind spot assist, automatic foldable, got that 
LED blinker lighting with the camera right here on the corner of this side mirror. In that satin silver trim going around the windows with a little bit of piano black, keyless fob entry. The running boards in that satin aluminum with that kind of matte black plastic coming in over from the lower front to the wheel well over to the side itself. Again, over to the back as well. Now, which leads us over to the rear end. Now, not to forget to mention, you also have the satin trim, uh, aluminum trim finish roof rails up top. Spoiler with the integrated brake lighting system, windshield wiper coming down with these LED beautiful tail lights. They kind of pop at you, 3D feel. Still aggressive and classy, but I'm liking the front end a little bit more. But again, the X5 rear end, it is a whole lot nicer than the last model, I'm going to say. X5 with the X drive, letting you know it's an all wheel drive 50E, that E being electrified, okay? Bumper sensors integrated into that lower bumper cover, matte black trim finish on top of that bumper. That's something different that we see because a lot of times you'll see that matte black plastics towards the lower side of that bumper cover but not here, you kind of see it in the mid or on top of that bumper cover, right under that tailgate. The exhaust tips, one on each side, and then the satin aluminum finish. You got the camera up top over the license plate, again with that BMW outlined in the blue. Let's go ahead and pop open this electrified or electric tailgate, self-assisted. And you get a partial tailgate here as we see the new style in the X5s, 2024s. Check out our other videos. We did an X5M, which was literally like the biggest horse in the barn type car. That thing was beautiful. If I had the money, I would have bought it at $130,000. But because I'm broke and my pockets aren't empty or deep, sorry, I cannot buy that car. But let's go ahead and pop open this. If you want to tailgate with the friends or family or whatnot, you're at a you know football game or a baseball game, that is a super cool option. We see this also in different other manufacturers. Keep your eye out for that. Pop that open. But again, this is a super cool feature to have. Now let's go ahead and close it. Now, the self-leveling adaptive air ride suspension, when it, you are properly equipped with that, you get about 7,200 pounds of towing capacity, all right? So keep that in mind as well if you find yourself you wanting to tow. You can literally decrease your level by that button there of the height of the car or increase it as well. That is very cool. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's under this. You got your tire situation going on, your plug, closing that up. Over to the right, we have a little bit of cubby room, 12 volt outlet, some hooks, a X for that X5 on each side. What's going on under there? Your safety pack. But you get on the back row, you get a 40%er, 20%er, and a 40%er for that second row. Let's talk cargo room, okay? Cargo room, when your second row is up, you get 31 cubic feet of space. When your second row is down, you get up to 71 cubic feet of space. And the way you drop those is here the shoulders. Now I probably would have liked to see one thing here in the X5 is if we would have had like a lever here or something to pull that lever to drop that backrest down on those seats. Okay. But again, it's kind of the same level crossing over to that back seat. You get that same level feel. So if you do find yourself, you want to sleep in here, that'd be a pretty cool option to do when you're maybe doing a mild camping trip or whatnot. Now let's go ahead and shut this tailgate or the partial or both tailgates, whatever you want to call it. And let's go ahead and talk interior because we're done with specs, exterior, and some cargo area. So now let's talk interior of the X5 X-Drive 50E and get a load of the color combo with the Blue Ridge Mountain Metallic exterior paint color coming together with that Cognac Sensafin, if I'm pronouncing it right, brown kind of color. It looks like a peanut butter interior, but it is just beautiful. With the ambient lighting, the natural grain inlays, the leather wrap dash, and that new look on the vents with the character on the interior side of that inlay, beautiful, and just kind of simplifying your buttons and all that stuff here. Full digital infotainment screen with your driver cockpit cluster. My goodness, BMW is doing the works, okay? Let's go ahead and bring this BMW over to you with the starting of the door panel. 
Up top, you got the leather wrapped, of course. Unlock lock button, memory seating up to two settings. Control unit for your windows, your button for the automatic foldable mirrors, and that trunk lid button in a very nice and convenient spot so you're not searching for it down there. You got the wood trim ambient lighting going across that kind of silver or aluminum look. Here down there, cup holder with the extra space and your gas tank lid button. Now, one thing I wanna show you guys is see that door sill plate down there? You literally get the BMW door sill plate. Let's go ahead and open it and show you guys. But one thing that's pretty cool is that when you're sitting inside, you see how that door panel kinda of comes in a little bit towards the back of that front door? You literally see this as you're driving, kinda of adding some character to the car, okay? On the left-hand side of this electric controlled steering column, you have your lighting control unit system. The nice vents with the silver coming around and that natural wood inlay look, beautiful. Steering wheel, let's talk steering wheel. Leather wrapped in the black stitching, the three spoke steering. Let's go ahead and start this car so you guys get an idea of what it looks like. Now we're currently in the hybrid mode. To control your media system, infotainment system stuff, it is here on the right and then on the left, you got your cruise control. To control that eight speed automatic transmission, the paddles here, the right and left controls for the windshield wipers and controls for the signal lights. Driver cockpit cluster display in the full digital. Now you got a lot of information going like range, gas, you can turn off and on the traffic sign recognition. You also will have here your battery display, RPMs, mile per hour and all that good. The power uh, support is here on the right. Infotainment screen, look at this. We left it in the climate so you guys get an idea. This is the way you'd be kind of controlling the climate all right leave that on three or no we'll leave it on two so it's not in bothering you guys in the video let's go back and show you guys also the full navigation system and what it looks like okay we could also go through the info cards compass the media and go through that personal assistant let's go back to complete this Whoop. whoops Let's go that. And then if you wait a little bit, you're gonna see that it's gonna give you a full navigation screen. That is so cool. I like to show that in my videos so you guys get an idea of how nice and wide and big this screen is. You could also come into your apps right there on the bottom and you can come into all apps or just infotainment apps, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, FM Radio, the series, the navigation, all that. Come into the vehicle apps and then you can control settings like exterior lighting, interior lighting. Let's go ahead and show you guys some cool things. Ambience. Let's go ahead and change the color of the X5 arrows there. And let's go ahead and change into an indigo, indigo blue color. And you'll see the ambient lighting change in the blue. Okay. And if you're feeling like a flamingo, maybe you want to go pink. And pink is pretty cool. It's a nice change up. All right. And then color. And then we could show you guys one more. We'll go green, emerald green. Very cool green as well, all right? Now, you can go back, and there's just a whole lot more. So if you guys find yourselves in Roseville, California, shoot over to the BMW dealership, and you guys want to uh, buy a BMW, they got guys that'll spend their time with the ins and outs of this car, all right? Now, let's go ahead and go, you're, I'm in all apps, go back. One thing I want to show you guys, all right? Again, you have your heated seats. All right, no cooled seats in this exact trim model, but you can control by touch sensitive. And then we go into uh, navigation from here or the media as well. So multiple places to kind of control that and then go back home. But you come down, you have a very kind of uh, minimalist look here on your control unit for your media, your defroster buttons. Above that, I want to show you guys how to open and close the vents. You go left with those little cute knobs, kind of like a, little button go left again and it shuts off and it kind of like hides the air coming through it is very cool all right now natural wood inlook with the ambient lighting the silver and then that cognac brown color under the lid you got a wireless charging pad some more personal pocket room and cup holders with the USB a and a 12 volt outlet this is what your key looks like on the new BMW x5s for the people who would like to see that Control unit here. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Infotainment screen. You can control 
with this little with this knob here and your media and the map and the navi. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. But you can also control the height of your adaptive air ride suspension, and that literally will go up down. All right. On the left hand side of that control unit, I want to show you guys going through modes. Let's say you're feeling a little bit sporty, you got that music going on, and you're kind of getting into the groove. You go into the sport and it's going to turn on the engine. It's going to change your driver cockpit cluster look. And also here on the infotainment screen, kind of giving you that emerald blue red look. Very nice, setting you in that aggressive. You got a Valvetronic exhaust that in, uh, activates and you can literally hear it. Now let's go back into hybrid and it shuts that car off and check that out. Balanced hybrid drive, changes your cockpit. And then we're going to go into electric and it goes into blue if we want to ride full electric mode. All right, let's keep it in the electric because it's just quieter for the video. Your shift knob right there with that kind of ambient lighting on top. Very nice, cute shift knob, giving it a cleaner look. Opening these lids, USB-C plug-in with the lighting for a personal pocket room. Above us, what do we see is that full glass going all the way over to that second row seating and the controls right here for that with your LED lighting in that true kind of white lighting. The seats themselves in that perforated grainy leather look. Very nice and soft. You got the Sport extensions. Very cool. And again, I told you at the beginning, or did I mention it? I might not have mentioned it. Maybe in our X3 video. And again, go check out our X3 video at Vagabond Builds about the M40i, all right? Lumbar support and electric controlled, all right? In front of you, you got a locking glove compartment. There you go. And we are pretty much done with this front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row again. So now, second row seating, we left those seats down so you guys get an idea of how it looks from these rear doors over to the trunk space. Now, again, I wanna show you guys the 40, 20, and 40. Let's go ahead and lift up the full 60 percenter if you keep them attached. Now, again, same look coming in from the front to the back. Armrest, personal pocket room and a button with those nice cup holders. Shout out to BMW because they are getting better with the cup holders. Goodness, great. Now, if we wanted to drop just this 20%, you go ahead and pull that lever, or I mean that lever, the belt, right behind that armrest, all right? Car seat compatibility. Let's go ahead and jump inside the car. Shut this hood. Door panel pretty much looks the same coming over from the front to the back in that silver ambient lighting that is very nice. Got the wood inlay and the personal pocket room with another cup holder. The pockets right in front of us as we're sitting. Your accessory connection if you wanna add accessories to the car like maybe a screen or a hanger for your clothing. USB-C plug-in right next to it. In between these two front seats, what do we get? We get the vents, and we can control those vents by those three knobs. And then dropping lower, personal cubby room, a 12 volt and more USB-C plug-ins. Let's lift this seat so you guys get a full vision of how it looks. I'm about six feet, two inches on a space test, okay? My legs are clear, and head clearance is completely there for everybody who'd like to know. And the seat or the bench seat itself is actually very nice and cushiony and soft so not stiff it's not going to feel like that sport stiffness more towards the luxury feel on the uh rear bench seat up top oh snap handles and the led lighting inside in that kind of white lighting itself and you get also the second row or the second or rear doors you get an illuminated door sill plate and the BMW, and that also changes when you change the ambient color back here as well. All right, guys, now we're pretty much done with this review video. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comments section below. As promised, here's your MSRP sticker so you guys get an idea of what comes on it and the price tag on top. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to help us and support us because we truly appreciate you guys. Thank you. Stay tuned. We have more cool things coming. God bless you.